So, <laughs> so I'd like to start by uh, engaging everyone a little bit. I want everyone to take a look around, um, you know, do a little audit of the person next to you, right? <laughs> you know, take a look at, you know, what they're wearing, right? Maybe they're, they're smiling, right? You know, well, what does their hair look like? <laughs> right? There's a lot of different hairstyles around the room that I see. And, and what I want to uh, take a deeper dive into today is how that hairstyle is going to actually correlate with your sales career, okay? So if you had to give a couple of adjectives to describe uh, the person's hairstyles next to you, what would you say? Luxurious. Luxurious. Okay. Aggressive. Aggressive. Non-existent. High, high type. <laughs> Non-existent. Okay. Flotastic. You know, what we've found in today's society is that, you know, we've really become fascinated by hairstyles, right? You know, it gets down to the celebrity level where, you know, a hairstyle, like Miley Cyrus and Jennifer Lawrence, right? <laughs> you know, they started their careers very young. And, and what happens in a social dynamic when you have celebrity and hairstyles together is that when something happens, it can have us talking, right, for weeks and weeks and <laughs> weeks, right? Headlines, CNN, NBC, right? Um, and what we found is that for me, you know, being a account executive at Localytics and also studying the dynamic of hair for over 25 years, <laughs> having a master in hair dynamic, it really became inevitable that I would want to find a correlation between how sales and hair actually, you know, migrate together. And is there that correlation of, you know, what your hair, uh, how your hair evolves over time? and and uh, your sales career. So, in reality, it really started, um, you know, just like scientists and uh, you know astronomers trying to figure out where, you know, the Big Bang theory, right? How how did the Earth start, right? It's really for me, it was trying to figure out where the epicenter of hair and sales actually started. <laughs> how how many of you are familiar with the show called Full House, right? Who's your favorite character on Full House? Jesse. Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse, obviously. Okay. Anyone else? Bob Saget. Bob Saget. <laughs> so, it's Full House, right? And it took about 25 years for me to figure out that this was actually the epicenter of where hair and sales and the evolution of it actually started, right? You're looking at, look at these different hairstyles, right? So we've got, you know, Bob Saget, we have Uncle Jesse. And in reality, it's, you know, how, how is this starting point in John Stamos' career? Because he is the epicenter, right? How, <laughs> how, how is this the starting point for Atari? So let, we have to really take a look back of how. Right? Everyone take a good look at that. <laughs> There's a good lettuce, right? There's a good quaff of hair, as they say, right? And, and for John, it was really about being the guy that, you know, made people turn the television on. But, you know, he wasn't the only guy that was in the show. But, you know, I mean, look at that. Great head of hair, right? I mean, what else do you notice? His eyes? But really? <laughs> at the end of the day, it's his hair that's really stealing the show. Okay? <clears throat> but it really breaks down to what are the five, the four themes of hair, and how does that relate to sales, right? The first theme is consistency, okay? Are you showing up to the office every day? You're organized, you're consistent, you're making 50 phone calls a day, you're doing your sourcing at night, you know? Is your hair looking prime every <laughs> single morning? Are you showing up one day, your hair is flat, are you showing up the next day, boom, big quaff of hair, <laughs> right? Are you staying consistent? And that's been proven, right? Consistency has been proven as one of the tools for sales success, and it's been also one of the tools for hair success. <laughs> right? And what's the next one? Durability. Is your hair durable? Right? What the fuck, man? God damn it. We'll, we'll say a comment. Sales, right? <laughs> so, so is your hair durable? Right? Is it going to last in tough situations? Um, you know, is, is your hair going to, you know, take, take a good, good beating from the rain or the wind, right? <laughs> is it durable? Okay, and the next is thickness, 
You know, is is it thick? Is your hair? You can run. You can run your hand through your hair and boom. Wow. Right? Is it thick? It is. It is thick. <laughs> You need thick skin in sales, okay? You need to be able to take what's thrown at you, right? And you need to have it hit your skin, bounce off, right? <laughs> Boom. Rain this morning doesn't touch my hair. <laughs> doesn't touch John Stamos' hair, okay? And, and the last one is, is the sort of the shine, right? It's are you walking into the office every day? Do you have a big smile on your face? You know, do you have, do you have the thing that you just can't really put your hands on? It's the X factor, it's that shine. Is your hair glowing? Are you walking into the office dull, right, frowning? You're not bringing much to the table, right? Mark, right now, he's frowning in the back. So, the four, the four themes, right? So we're gonna do a little interactive, right? So what are the things that John Stamos has in his early days of Full House in terms of the theme? What does he have? Anybody? Out of the four. Say he's consistent, mm. right? Every day in the set, he's bringing a consistent hair, right? What else? It's thick. <laughs> Very thick. It's thick. The thick hair, right? <laughs> durable. Is it durable? Can that last over time? I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, when you have a beautiful cloth of hair like this, it's not going to last forever. And it's not, because just like in sales, when you're doing role changes, you're going from you know, lead gen into a manager role, your business development maybe into a closing role, you're going to have to change, right? John Stamos, after Full House, went into a music career. And it was different from Full House in the way that he had to be the one now in a closing role, right? Before, he was getting people to turn the television on, but he wasn't putting asses in the seats, right? And if you take a look, there's really only one thing about him that changed from Full House to his music career. <laughs> That's his hair. <laughs> That's his hair, right? <laughs> So if you take a look now and you want to compare the four themes of hair and sales, and you're taking a look at this, right? I think he's got all four. Right. <laughs> right. I think he's got all four. Because now, being able to be durable in the music in the music industry, right? That hair is pretty durable. You know, before it was flopping around, big quaff, nice hair, but now he's really got the X factor, right? He's got that shine. Is it thick? Yes, absolutely, it's still thick, <laughs> right? But the key differentiator here is that it's durable. And I know you're saying, you know, well, Trevor, you know, how, you know, how can I get there, <laughs> right? I think some people in the room are, are looking forward to an account executive job out in California, right? And, you know, maybe they're moving up from a business development role in, into that closing role. And you're gonna say, Trevor, well, how, you know, how do I get there? Like, what, what do I do? I'm not, I don't have good hair like John Stamos. I don't have good hair like you. <laughs> right? There's tools for success. There's tools, there's ways to train your hair to make it successful. Just like in sales where, you know, there's people around you, there's, there's things that you can do to change the shape of your hair to really make it consistent, durable, shiny, and thick, right? And what are those things? What are those things? <laughs> Talking about hair gels. <laughs> Talking about hair gels. And <laughs> so, so up here today, I brought a few hair gels, and, and, <laughs> And what these are, they're really tools to shape and mold not only your hair, but your sales process, right? And if you look around the room today, you know, you're gonna see spike explosion. Nick Fasano, he's a spike explosion, <laughs> right? He's a guy around you that's really gonna make you explode to the next level of sales, okay? You've got your fiber spikes, right? Those are the ones that are gonna make it a little bit of shine, it's gonna keep your hair back, right? Maybe it's 
you know, doing a mock presentation, right? Or, um, you know, getting, getting on the whiteboard and just letting your ideas flow out on a whiteboard, right? Spike explosion, right? And, and all these different tools here. So when it started this presentation, you know, everyone kind of assumed that it was, you know, it was, it was Uncle Jesse, right? You know, was Uncle Jesse your, everyone's favorite character here? And, and right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mine too. So, so basically, the tools that you have around you, they're there, right? You need to use them. You can't be showing up every day, and, you know, not using these tools. You need to find what works for you because there's many things out there, okay? You need to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You need to try different hair gels. Personally, for me, I know that a combination of six and seven, 6.5, makes my hair look like this. <laughs> Over 25 years. It took me 25 years to get to that level, right? And John Stamos, to get that durability, was using all these products. It's a fact. All of them together, <laughs> right? Through his music career, right, all the way up. And today, you know, he's been in entourage. He's been in Super Bowl commercials, right? Look at his hair. Look at it. What do you think he's using in that hair? It's a solid eight. Oh, <laughs> He's using hair gels, right? <laughs> He's using those hair gels to not only stretch his career as a professional actor and celebrity, right? But you can use the tools that are around you every day to stretch, right? To stretch that career and to stretch your sales career and get better every day. So I would like to play a quick video. Now it just so happened that, you know, it just kind of worked out that way that everyone's favorite character was John Stamos. But, you know, in reality, people loved, um, you know, Bob Saget as well. So when you look at this video and it's really who's on top today, it's John Stamos. Who do you want to be in that commercial? You want to be John Stamos. You don't want to be the guy cleaning the table and vacuuming, right? Like the other set of full house. Because John Stamos actually used the tools, right, to stretch his career as far as possible. So I want to challenge everyone today to come up, try some of the hair gel, see what works for you. Put yourself, right, put yourself and your hair into a situation it hasn't been before. And then fake it, right, put it in the hair, fake it until you really become it, right. So put that hair gel in your hair. Become that salesman you know you can be, right? And take your sales to the next level. Thank you very much. Woo! Inspirational.